Here's something to think about. I was driving down the road yesterday pondering 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8, where the Bible says we should not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. Now, a lot of people have taken that verse and they've used it to promote an old earth theory or what you might call the day age theory of creation, which is this, that God did not create the universe in six literal 24 hour days, but that rather each of those days represents some long period of time. I believe that we should take the Bible literally everywhere that we can, unless it is, God is impressing on us that it cannot be taken so. And especially with the book of Genesis, the devil's trying to steal the power of God and our thoughts of his great power. We got to know that at the beginning, God created, he created everything in six days out of absolutely nothing. And so I think it's wrong for people to use this verse to support that, that theory. Now, let me give you two reasons why. Number one, in 2 Peter 3, 8, God is using a simile. He says that a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years are like a day. He didn't say a day is a thousand years. He said it's as or like a thousand years. So clearly God is purposely using a simile, not an equation. Number two, he uses a thousand years. He could have said that a day is like a hundred years or that a day is like a million years, but he chose a thousand years. And I started thinking about that. You know, a thousand years is out of the realm of any of our experiential understanding. No human being lives a thousand years, not even in biblical days. Before the sin curse really set into motion, the oldest man never even got to a thousand years. And so I think God is doing that on purpose to say it's a thousand years because it's something you can't imagine. And God is telling us that he can do in one literal 24-hour day what we could only imagine happening in a thousand years. In other words, he could create in one day at the creation of the universe. An untold number of things that we can't even conceptualize. I believe this verse actually supports six literal days of creation. And not only that, in one day of your life, God can do untold numbers of eternal things that are going to head out into eternity when you get there. Take God at his word.